All right, it's good to have you back. Let's bring you this now. Some ANC staff members are currently planning to picket outside the party's headquarters as well as provincial offices over non-payment of salaries. And they suspended their salary strike back in September to focus on winning the local government elections. Chairperson of the ANC Staff Representative Committee, that's Mr. Mvosim Dala, joins me now live uh, from Cape Town. Mr. Mdala, thank you for your time and good morning to you. I can't believe we're back here again having this conversation because uh, Paul Mashadile came to the South African Morning Writer on ENCA and he said it on record a couple of days before uh, the elections that everything was under control. All ANC staff members that hadn't been paid yet or at least were due for back payment would be honored, of course, with those payments. Why are we back here? Why is this picket commencing this morning? Ms. Amdala, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, good morning. I can hear you. Thank you. Yes, good morning to you. I mean, I was just asking if I may repeat my question. I'm sure you got it. But my question is, why are we back here having this conversation again after Paul Mashadile uh, had committed uh, right here on ENCA that payments would be made just a couple of days before elections? Um, we would have thought that all ANC staff members who are due for payment would have been by now. Yeah, thanks. We are back here today because those undertakings were not honored. And then it's not the first time that they make undertakings and then they are not honored. And also, to our surprise, last week Friday, even our medical aid was suspended. So with that being said, I mean, what has, uh, what's due here? Is it, is it just the salaries? Does it include medical aid? Does it include, you know, other benefits that were due for how many months as well um, are we talking of here when you talk of non-payment? When you talk of non-payment, we are talking about three months. By end of November, it will be the fourth month without salaries. Mm -hmm. And then here we are talking about medical aid that is currently suspended and mm. put our members in a very difficult situations as they depend on that. We are talking here about the provident fund that has not been paid since November 2018. And the UIF are talking here about those conditions that uh, we find ourselves in. And then the management, I think, is not honoring any undertakings they are making. Yeah, back payments from as far back as 2018. Have they come back to you um, as the ANC staff to explain themselves as to why uh, these payments are still delayed? I mean, even after uh, suspending your strike, at least for you know a couple of months to focus on you know the elections, have they at least honoured uh, a meeting to explain to you as to why you have not been paid yet? They have not honored the meeting, and then we last met with the officials on the 7th of October, and then it was on a Tuesday and agreed to meet on Thursday. Since then, they never came back to us till today to, because what we're demanding from them is a written commitment mm. that can be used as an award that can be enforced in true labor act processes in the country but that is not forthcoming. And on also even the plan, how this is going to be addressed is not forthcoming. Mr. Patina, what's the staff morale like right now, especially uh, with the work I can imagine ANC staff members have put in, even around during elections, without having been paid, uh, without their benefits being paid, such as medical aid, yet still committing uh, to you know, the work of you know, the party and as far as elections are concerned. At this point, how is that staff morale? The morale is very low and uh, highly disappointed by the uncaring attitude of the leadership. Remember, as you have correctly said, that we, 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 we prioritized elections whilst we're not getting paid mm. and then went to work to ensure that the party performed very well in the elections with the hope that they will show at least uh, meet us halfway generosity and then but there's nothing that is coming from them. Even a, a meeting, even if for an hour to explain. When, then we have seen that the, the question of uh, funds, they managed to raise money for elections, but uh, I think the question of staff is not priority to them, and it's, we are highly disturbed by that. Yeah. 
Well, we know at this point that at 12 p.m. Uh, a picket is planned nationwide, all ANC uh, offices around the country. Besides that picket, a list of demands that you have put forward uh, for the ANC, I can imagine, have also been drafted. What are they at this point? Our demands remain the same as they were on the 15th of uh, on the 15th of June when we first picketed to say that uh, we've got staff that have been uh, in the uh, employment of the ANC on a voluntary basis for more than 20 years, and then we are saying that they must be deemed as permanent. We've got a provident fund that has not been paid. We've got a also, our uh, colleagues we have passed on and their families have not been given what is due to them because the provident fund is owned. That is putting strains in their families because some of them, they were breadwinners. Those are some of the demands that we are saying must be met with immediate effect. All right. Well, of course, we'll be sure to uh, update our viewers on uh, these developments. But thank you for joining us, uh, Mr. Mbusim Dala, uh, chairperson of that ANC, of course, representative committee. But we've put in also a request to the ANC to get a response to the salaries matter. We'll bring you that uh, as soon as, of course, we have any confirmation. If you are an ANC official in leadership position watching this conversation, please uh, come on to the South African morning. We'd love to have a conversation with you. I mean, if staff members, uh, Gareth, are saying they haven't been paid their provident fund, uh, there are ANC volunteers who've been volunteering for 20 years plus that still haven't been given permanent uh, positions. Some have even lost their lives and family members are still haven't received any uh, uh, honor from, you know, the ANC as a party. Uh, I can imagine at this point the morale being so low at the ANC. Uh, and our executive producer making a very good point to, to you and I through our, through our earpiece. Mm. And we're going to try and get hold of a labor lawyer. But this is, this is quite complicated uh, because it's a political party mm. as well. But we're going to try and see if we can't speak to a labor expert about that. Now, speaking... We can't make this up. Yeah. Uh, of irony, <laughs> employee matters. Oh yeah. They do. Uh, is up next. We're back.